Now we're going to learn how to make a custom view. So here I have my open opportunities and here you can see a drop down list of the various views that are available. And down here we have a section called my views. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new view. So let's suppose for this open opportunities view you can see right here I have potential customer, estimated close date, estimated revenue. Let's say I wanted to have a new view that had a column with next step date and I wanted it to be right between estimated close and estimated revenue. All I have to do is I have to go click this advanced find button over here and then this purple box opens and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click edit columns. Then what I'm going to do is click add column and I'm going to go ahead and look for next step date. There it is. I'm going to click OK. Now what it has done is it has placed it over here and with these arrows over here I can move it exactly where I want it. So I'm going to keep clicking to the left. Actually I'll leave it right where it is because I think that's pretty good and I'm going to press OK. I'm going to go save as. I'm going to name this open opportunities with next step. Then I can go ahead and close this. And I'm going to refresh this page. And as you can see now as I open this drop down menu, there it is. It's a new view, open opportunities with next step. And if I want to erase that, I'll just show you how to do that too. We go back where we just were. And that purple box opens again and I can see my saved views right here. And open opportunities with next step is here. So I'm going to select it. It's already selected. I just have to click delete. Confirm the deletion. Go ahead, close this box. Refresh the page. And you'll see in the drop down menu that it is no longer there. So just with a few clicks, it's that easy to customize and create a new view for yourself.